what drives us towards our mission that is purpose right so anna hazare he was sitting on hunger strike for so many days and uh, nothing happened to him maybe he became weaker but you know he was very very driven towards his mission he had a mission and he was working towards that that is what a purpose is a purpose has to be as i understand uh purpose has to be bigger than ourselves our our uh, goals many many people set materialistic goals uh, what i understand is when you have a mission bigger than you your goal cannot be materialistic that is what i understand it, it will be something which might appear to be abstract might appear to be crazy like uh, swimmer says in uh, his example he was citing about uh, utkalamani gopavandhu das so he wrote a stanza he was a freedom fighter he did a lot about our uh, education system if people many people don't know but he was the first to have this idea of open university so and of course he was passionate about his country the independence how people live and how people think so the famous sanja that uh, all of us read as children is nisu uh, moro deho e desho mati re desho basi chali jaan tu pithi re desho ro swarajya pathe jete gaado koru tahi padi moro manso hard even i was told about this and described by my mother who was a oriya language student of course so but i also read the same stanza and she was describing me with lot of passion no? it is not a small thing to be thinking that i can be that ordinary person with all my being can be for the well being of my countrymen and uh, that will be my glory you know how many people can say that and if there is any obstacle then may i be the person to sacrifice my flesh and blood who can say that a person who is driven by his purpose and did he achieve freedom independence during his lifetime i don't remember honestly but it was not so but he paved the way for our independence in a small way the independence the freedom of this country is attributed to mahatma gandhi right and there is no contradiction there no conflict there but when we attribute that credit to mahatma gandhi some other people some other so many freedom finishers sorry freedom fighters were there who actually contributed towards that the the their mission had that their motivation had that their life had that and we don't know but maybe it was not because of one person but it was a collective force or collective effort that got us uh, the independence you know so that was the objective that time what is ours what we want to be free of so today i was speaking to somebody on this today's generation all of us complain about lot of complain about lack of time you know and how do we spend our time 
Do we have any control over our time? Do we have any purpose? How we use our time? Is it driven towards our purpose? No. We need to think. We need to give it a thought. The self-centered attitude that many of us have, even when we are asked to write our goals, what are the goals that drive us today? Very self-centered, having a house, a bungalow, maybe a car, or bank balance or something. That is the immediate kind of attraction that has, that is there in our mind. That, that motivates us. It's really, really very sad that that is the thing which motivates us. But sooner or later, if you are doing, if you are a hard worker or even, even if you are not, have you not seen people with huge bungalows, lot of bank balance, huge uh, this vehicle, lot of everything, millionaires and billionaires. Do you think they feel fulfilled? Tony Robbins, he said, even if a millionaire, 85% of his students are millionaires and billionaires. 85% of them come to him because they don't feel fulfilled. You know, aspiration is such. Because we don't have, that is why we aspire for that. But that is not the thing which will give us fulfillment. If there is no purpose, there cannot be any fulfillment. Purpose is a something bigger than a, bigger than ourselves. That is what I say. Now, what is bigger than ourselves we will learn maybe going forward because that is what our mindset is all about and um, and and there is there is lot of conformity about how we think it is the other person thinks that is why we think the other person does that is why we do now what the other person is thinking or whether he or she is going towards a purpose is something questionable. Who do we follow? Do we follow the person who is Heading towards his purpose as somebody who is, uh, obviously everybody knows that uh, a person who doesn't have a purpose goes nowhere, right? Because he, he hasn't set himself or herself a destination. So they are stuck and uh, stuck for some time or say for years. It leads to unfulfillment. So we we seek something to feel fulfilled, right? What is that one thing which will give us fulfilled or should we crave about our lifetime, our work pressure, our overtime and our uh, lack of time and lack of cooperation and lack of friendship, lack of connection, all this and hide behind all those to remain stuck. That is the choice we need to make. We need to pause for a moment and give it a thought. What has been your childhood dream? Was there a dream? Of course it was. Of course there was. You know, each of us had been a child and uh, a child dreams a lot. What was that dream? Was there something which hit you? 
kind of impacted you and you kept on thinking about that and never came terms with yourself unless you did it or working towards that. Is there something like that? It gives you depth as a human being. How are you different from in the in the animal kingdom? You are the best. How is that? How it is that you are different from the rest of the animal? Are we in comfort zone? Even if we are, a lot of us are under so many compulsions that we cannot just give up something and go ahead with our mission only. But there were people, there are people who can do that, right? Suppose there is, this is not a possibility and you are still hesitating to take that step forward. Still, is there something on everyday basis to be done by you? Because you're the person, you are the only person who can do that. <laughs> because you have been a unique human being. By, by, by the definition, by virtue of being a human being, every human being has been different. The other thing that needs to be thought about is 20% people in this world control 80% of the wealth that is there. That is Pareto's rule. And here at least, what is that they do differently than others? What do these twenty percent of people who are controlling the eighty percent of the wealth of the entire world are doing differently? Don't you think they are working on a purpose? Do we not have to understand how they are finding time along with this wealth generation to work towards their purpose? So do we not think about that? Thought becomes words, words become action, and there is a way to integrate your our logic. And purpose is for me is love. You know? My purpose is my love. So there is a, there is this balancing of love and logic and then comes a hang where we talk about the consistency factor, right? How to implement, what are the action points? Why are we not asking questions as to how can we do it? Maybe we don't have the answer right now. Nobody has that answer right now, but if we start asking questions, even our brain, that is what the Dr. Joe Dispenja says, so many other spiritual, spiritually aligned uh, teachers say that uh, if we ask questions of the same time to our brain, then that impression goes to the subconscious mind and then the subconscious mind gives out the answer. Have you not heard, have you not thought about or experienced about those times when you, so many people no, have got those answers also. Many people even today say that they can get the answers while they are taking showers. So how is it possible? It, it is possible because you are asking questions. You are giving questions to be answered to your brain and the subconscious is responsible for providing you the answer to bringing, bringing the answers in front of you. Maybe it will come from within or you might be for me. I hear answers 
from my brigo. If you seek, if you seek, definitely you will get, right? If you are asking a question, definitely you will hear the answers from region or from your environment. It is going to happen. But have you asked the question? If you haven't, then you cannot see, you cannot uh, declare that you don't get the answers because you haven't asked, right? So that is the habit that we need to have to ask questions. Why we haven't asked any questions? And anything that we say needs to be corroborated by the five whys. We have to ask the why with each answer that we give ourselves. For me, my vision statement is to have global calming, cooling, and green. And uh, my mission statement is to train one lakh super performing global players in 139 countries to work towards innovation those will be leading to abundance, a multi-billion dollar enterprise. Now, how does this contribute to this? To my vision is when a person is engrossed in innovation, he is not thinking of comparison. So there is less silence. And so global calming takes place. People, sufficient number of people, if engaged with innovation, asking why, doing something very different, are people busy creating solutions and thereby they are creating global peace. And those solutions will be environment friendly, that is what I envision. Thereby, the cooling thing will happen. And uh, the greening part is our innovations will be around the environment and the greening of the planet. So it is interconnected that way. And I think that uh, that is a very good way. Innovations are a, the, the best way the best way to create global calming, cooling, and green. That is my vision. And the mission or the way that I'll be doing is to train, find out super performing global players and train them towards that. I need some analysis, of course, how to do that. But the how part is not within me. That, that is a subject of another discussion. We will not discuss right now, but we will discuss the codes, the, the codes that protects us from ourselves. That has been learned by, learned from uh, the, the international teacher, Mr. Blair Singer. He's, he used to, he says, he tells a story about how his courts have uh, protected him from himself. You know, so many times we get into crisis, dilemma, and then we don't know, uh, and those are the crossroads, where we don't know which path to take. It is your code which helps you take the path that needs to be taken. Even if your, your rules might be different, but the codes will guide you towards the right path. You know, that is what he said. 
so and the next person is denzel washington who says that uh, commitment is one thing which gets you started that is how i have got started so i am very proud of having started you know and i won't stop till i reach my mission you know it's a reachable mission no that is what i believe it's a reachable thing in the internet zamana uh, <laughs> you think that uh, reaching out to one lakh uh, super performing global players is difficult no i think each of us is a super performing global player it is just that you are not yet convinced by my dream or i haven't communicated it to you so as i am saying this i am conveying this to you and you might be this the one super one person whoever is it is is a super performing global player and how do i define that i start with the people around me who are mid career professionals but it can be anybody a person who understand his purpose or mission he is or her purpose or mission he is a super performing global player and why 139 countries i don't know because it has come from within when i was writing my mission statement so i have written i don't defy my mind my intuition with when it comes when it gushes through me and so i'm proud of stating whatever comes through me the third is the second is focus sorry the second is focus of course you need focus to do something right if you are distracted how can you do what whatever you have set out to do third is integrity you are doing same thing even if you are not watched so who will see whatever i am doing still it is me who am who who is watching myself right is that the state that is for integrity yes consistency as denzel washington says consistency is what it takes to the end commitment gets you started and consistency takes you through towards the end to the end to the end so and and with what speed you do speed is of course is required because you cannot do just uh, your your speed determines how quickly or or with lot of time you reach the end right and then the score what is my score right now my score is 37 i think the focus part is missing or it is to be worked on and um, i'm i'm kind of uh, clueless about how to bring more focus uh, to whatever i'm doing maybe it is it has to it is all over the place so it has to be concentrated and focused on to one that is what i need to work on going forward so these have been my learning and my realization today when we analyze we realize right and it is not for going paralyzed it has to realize and set forward from there whenever the realization happen because unless we evaluate ourselves analyze ourselves we cannot get the right picture about where we are right so this is about it thank you if you like it do give me a comment thank you